Illustrator Tutorial 1, Part 4, Adding the Ears. Uh, this isn't in your printed tutorial, but my dog's face is a little high on the page and I want to move it down. So to move it down, I do Control A, which is Select All, and then with the Selection tool, click on one of the lines and you can drag the dog or the drawing that you've selected further down the page. So I've just shifted my dog a little bit further down the page, which gives me some room above to draw his ears. I need to go to the Layers palette. So to find the Layers palette, I can click over here and it opens up. Or I can go to Window and make sure that Layers is ticked or the shortcut is F7. I need to add in a new layer. So you have some little icons here and this is Create New Layer. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to double click on layer 2 and call it Ears. And then I'm going to just push Enter. Go to the Pen tool, then go to the Eyedropper tool and then go to the dog colour with the eyedropper and double click and it changes your fill colour to match. That means the fill that I draw on my ears will be the same as the cut, same colour as the rest of the dog. So I'm going to try and draw some ears similar to those that are shown in your printed instructions. So pen tool, I'm going to start here and click and then click again and click again and there I have something that's reasonably similar to the image shown in the tutorial. Deselect your ear, click on the pen tool, go to no fill and now I'm going to add a little line in here that is just the same as the one there. Now you notice this is over the top of the eyeball, don't worry about it at the moment, we're going to change that a bit later on. I'm going to draw the other ear now, so click on the selection tool, deselect, click on the pen tool and go to the other side and try and draw the other ear. Now they don't have to be exactly the same as what they look like in your instructions, but they're a good guide. So do your very best. Um, and I forgot to change the fill colour. So eyedropper tool, click on the colour that you want it to be and it's matched. I need to draw the inside of the ear and I want to make that pink. Make sure that your ear is deselected. Go back and click on the pen tool. Double click on the colour picker. Make the colour pink that you'd like the inside of the ear to be. Back onto the pen tool and start drawing and trying to replicate the inside of the dog's ear. Go to Object, Arrange, Send Backwards and you can see it's just changed slightly there. Then we need to go to the ears layer in the layers palette and drag that layer below the other layer. And you can see now that the ears are behind the eyeballs. So if I undo that, you can see the original ears, drag it below layer one and you've got what you need there. Now I need to add a nose. So I'm going to add another new layer. Double click on layer 3, call it nose. I want the nose to be on top of layer 1. The nose to be at the top, so drag nose, the nose layer to the top. Make sure the nose layer is activated so you know that you're drawing on it. I want the nose to be brown, so I'm going to go up to some preset colours at the top, choose a nice dark brown. 
click on the pen tool, making sure it's still on brown. I'm going to start trying to draw my nose. Click, click hold, manipulate, click hold, manipulate, click hold, manipulate. And there we go. So again, I'm not totally happy with the shape of my nose, so using the direct selection tool, I'm going to go onto the anchor point and drag that out to where I want it to be. It's a little bit sharp, but we can use the angles and the angles to change that and bring it in a little bit. And this one I'll drag out here. This one, angle it there. I'm going to get rid of this one. It's an extra one I don't need. So on my direct selection, sorry, on my pen tool, if I click and hold, it says delete anchor point. Click on that and then click right on the little anchor point I want to get rid of and it's gone. Back to direct selection and I can rotate that out a bit. And that's a pretty good nose. I'm pretty happy with that. Selection tool. Click on my nose and I'm just going to move my nose over to the side here a bit. And I'm going to move this line here. I'm not really happy with that area, where that is. So I'm going to go onto the selection tool, then the direct selection tool, and I'm just going to grab the anchor point here. And I'm pretty happy with the look of my dog. It's not a perfect match for the one that's in the tutorial, but it still looks like a dog.